Okay guys, so this is the second time you're doing it, the previous time it messed up, so I try to change the camera, this is a new camera I got from Amscope, with the, the, my old microscope. I'm just going to be going through in this video what are the tools I use every day for the more advanced repairs, cleaning under fill, removing nans, Wi-Fi chips, and they all come from a place called Union Repair. And uh, some of the tools are from Quan Li as well, but they sold on Union Repair. This is the 007 blade that I like to use. It's got a nice little hook for cleaning the underfill and a nice little flappy part that you can buy loads of these little bits. But I like the tool because it's multifunctional and it comes with this blade. So, and then I use the Day 008 Quan Li tool, which has also got a nice little hook made by Quan Li, uh, sold by Union Repair for under for cleaning and I've also attached one of those small little things on top there to remove some chips. So I'm just going to show you how these tools make my life a lot easier during these hard repairs every day. And this is my favorite board holder. They li literally just sent me this one. Uh, it holds from the 5S all the way to the 8 Plus. So you know I've had like 6 and 6S six and you have to buy the 6 Plus, 6S six Plus and 7 7 Plus and you have to keep buying them but this one is a tool for everything it's really good stuff anyways let's just go ahead and I'm just going to go and show you for example in NAND repair with these tools cleaning the underfloor you can see how fast it actually is and efficient so let's just pull this down here so here we have the NAND just the donor board, just for just for practice sake, I'm going to show you this stuff. Alright, so here's the tool. All you gotta do is get your cleaning temperature out. This tool is so thin that when you come in and you clean it, you'll see now it's just wait for it to warm up. Okay, we're warming up, so check this. So you can just come in. Nice straight angle. Break away. Get in between. The reason why I like this, like you can use a blade, but if you use this, you've got that hook towards it. So you can go downwards like that. You don't need to, uh, you know, get your blade, get all uncomfy. This, you're just in one spot, breaking away the underfoot. There we go from the second part. See, you just come in with your hook and you hook everything up, like so, nice and easy, just like that, and honestly, no, no tension, no pressure, no nothing, you just, just come in, and you just slide it like this, nice and smooth. Now for my day 008 one, I've just attached a smaller tip to it, and literally just come in, take your full hot air, jiggle a little bit here, let's get you down here, just jiggle a little bit, like that. Get ready, just put your hot air here. Let's bring you down a bit more, put your hot air here, and literally just get ready until it slides in. It's a nice flat tool, so it's going to be nice and easy. Slide in like this, grab it, and when you're ready, you're just going to pinch it up. So just keep the air flowing, and just watch. I'm getting ready to just pinch it up like so, and you can just flick it like this. You see? No pulled pads. This is all NC. You've got nothing to worry. No underfall, whatever, blah blah blah. And the cool thing is about this is on the on the thing it says NAND, right? So you can just stick your NAND in there and you can get your cleaning done. And you can go back. Anyways, let's just go ahead and squish some of this flux up like this. I just want to show you the cleaning process of the NAND with the Day 008 tool. I love it so much. 
Before I knew about Union Repair, a friend of mine gifted it to me, and ever since I've been using it for every single man, Wi-Fi, any repair I do, with all this black glue, because it's just perfect. Let me just get my wood cut, and I just want these pads, before we continue. Just like so. And now this is the cool part, right? Just dry it up. So now it's nice and dry. All that black glue, watch what's going to happen. We're going to go back to our cleaning temperature. This is the day 008 blade. It's beautiful. See it says 008 on it? My favorite, my favorite, my favorite. So we get into the uh, the cleaning process, and all you got to do, literally, is just slide, just glide. When you're at your cleaning temperature, you just got to glide. Not even, not even pushing hard. You just glide. Just glide, like so. Just keep glide. Now I remember doing this with a blade in the beginning, with the tips, but as soon as I found this tool. Just changed everything, changed everything. So then you can change the angle you're at, get in at there, and just come in and glide. Like that. Just glide. Change the angle up a little bit because we're getting in the corners. The other angle here. Just glad, just glad. No stress. We want this photo to be Instagram perfect. This tool really does help you not scratch the board. Once you've found your way with it, let's get in here like so. I'm really used to using this, my daily driver every day. Just like so, just sliding and grinding like that. Get on the angle, boom. If you really want to be a perfectionist, you can keep on cleaning. But that is perfect. Let's see if you can see it. That is really clean. And you can go ahead and just put on. And what? That was under I don't know, two, three minutes, maybe? Anyways. And let's just get to say a Wi-Fi chip, for example. Same process. The day, this is the 007 blade. Let me show you here. 007, the one I love to clean with. So you can go on our cleaning temperature again. We're going to sit and just take it like this. Get in between. Break the marriage. Just separate it like this. So easy, nice and easy, right? Come in here. So just get in between, just get in between. You just want to separate this underfoot. This underfoot will make your life a misery. If you don't separate it, it will make your life a misery. Yeah, let's just go in between there, nice. Make some space for me to come in. Get up your temperature to remove, and literally all you gotta do is get ready, wait for it to slide in, spin around, get ready to flip, and pop goes the weasel. No pads pulled. Very, very, very easy. Get this Wi-Fi so to clean it later. I'm stocking up on my Wi-Fi chips during this video. So we're going to just come in here as usual. Put your flux down, clean up the pads. Get 
boom, 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 boom. Easy, 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 easy. the pads it really does make my life easier with a blade okay you can get used to the blade but this is like a luxury you know I believe it's a lot more safe so those pads are clean enough for me now Come in. Give a little bit of scrub. We still got all that glue, right? Don't worry, we bring out the 008, baby. Let's see, it's a 008 on it. There we go. Cleaning temperature. And when you're ready, just come in and glove it. Literally, just come in and glove it. This makes my life doing very difficult repairs a lot easier. I'm repeating it because it's so true. Look, you can come and slide in here between these caps like this without even knocking anything off. Like that, like that. Easy, easy. In here, flip it around one more time and just get this last side. See, I like it when I can get the angle. Come in, squeeze up a little bit. There we go. Literally, we're not even using a lot of pressure at all. And glad, that's it. And that to me is clean enough. What's the right here? That to me is clean enough to put the Wi-Fi chip in. See that? Perfect. Literally ready and easy. No pads pulled, that's it. So, guys, go check out their website. They've got some good stuff. Man. And get this board holder with these tools. Those are my favorite tools out of it. Uh, stencils. They've got some really great 3D stencils as well. But yeah, go check them out. Thanks for watching.